Those love that lasts until death is all because they die early. For example, the love story on the Titanic ship, you can imagine, in fact, this movie has another ending? In the end, Jack climbed onto the boat board and survived with Rose. Then, they got married and had children. You are when you're crazy. You're sick. I really mean that you're sick. Look at you. Look at you and tell me how by any stretch of the imagination, you can call yourself a man. Frank and April had been married for seven years. Like all couples in the world, they were also suffering from a seven-year itch. Such a heated argument happened every other time. The reason for the altercation was various, but the amazing thing was the next day after every altercation, they acted like nothing happened and continued to do their own work. This time, after the altercation, Frank went to work, April did housework at home. When she was sorting things out, she turned over to an old photo by accident. The young Frank in the photo was full of vigor. Recalling the first time they met, Frank was also a high-spirited boy, humorous and ambitious. He wanted to experience everything in the world, especially, Paris. It was his motivation, which attracted April deeply. I think you're the most interesting person I've ever met. But in middle age, Frank had gone from his youth. Every day, he sat in the office and did the repetitive work. In order to find something interesting in the bring life, he stared at a secretary at work. Frank knew that the secretary was interested in him, so he went forward to make an appointment. He realized that he was a little sorry for his wife after doing the wrong thing. Especially, when he got home, he saw April dressed up and celebrated her birthday with the children. In that place, he was very touched but guilty as well. After dinner, April was excited and talked about her plan. She suggested that they move you to Paris. You always said it was the only place you'd ever been that you wanted to go back to, the only place that was worth living. She even promised when they moved to Paris, she would go out for work. Frank just needed to stay at home and did what he liked. It sounded wonderful. But Frank thought that April's plan was a little unrealistic. This is what's unrealistic. It's unrealistic for a man with a fine mind to go on working year after year at a job he can't stand. Coming home to a place he can't stand, to a wife who's equally unable to stand the same things. In April's eyes, she should have married the one full of ambition, a man of infinite talent and ability. And she also believed, Frank was that kind of man. It was just because at present he was just trapped by the current boring life, so under her rainbow, Frank could develop. He felt that it was okay, so he accepted April's Paris dream plan. Then, April was really happy. The next day, she actively went through the procedures. Looking at the ticket in her hand, she saw full of expectation for the future. During this period of time, April was immersed in the joy of going to Paris. It was a rare and unforgettable life. Frank also gathered with friends to say goodbye. Then, they told friends about their plan to live in Paris. Millie and her husband were surprised. They said congratulations to Frank's couple, but behind that, they felt that they were not reliable. This whole plan sounds a little immature. Me too. I, I was thinking that the whole time. What kind of man is going to sit around in his bathrobe all day, picking his nose while his wife goes out and works? No. But on the other side, Frank came home with a different state. In the shock of Millie and her husband, they laughed for a long time. Looking at the talkative Frank, April finally felt that the young Frank, this was the man she wanted to get married. Soon after, the next neighbor couple took their son, John, paying a visit. John was in an insane asylum, talking without considering others' feelings. When they came in the room, April said, her daughter was not at home. John said a word that made the atmosphere to become freezing. If I had a certified lunatic coming around my house, I'd probably get the kids out of the way. After knowing that Frank and April were about to move to Paris, John laughed, and then he kept asking Frank, why do you want to go to Paris? But Frank didn't say the true reasons. Running from the hopeless emptiness of the whole life here. Now you've said it. Plenty of people are on to the emptiness, but it takes real guts to see the hopelessness. It was true that the people around them thought that the Paris dream plan was not realistic. They thought that Frank and April were pursuing material life, but in John's opinion, he could see through the origin of what was happening. He understood the reason Frank's family wanted to leave here. The day they planned to move to Paris was coming soon. Frank's desire to move was getting lower and lower. April seemed to be getting more and more restless. She put all the restlessness on her daughter. I don't feel like explaining everything 15 times to somebody who's too bored and silly to listen. Frank noticed that there was something wrong with April recently. After trying to ask her, April said she was pregnant. It had been 10 weeks. It was easy to see, April really wanted to go to Paris. However, at this time, Frank didn't want to move. He calmed April down, but he was considering. The boss asked him for a promotion and salary increase two days ago. But within two days, April saw his wavering. They had an altercation again. 
April felt that her husband dared not pursue a new life, but Frank replied, it was about his responsibility to family. But I have the backbone, I don't run away from my responsibilities. It takes backbone to lead the life you want. The altercation had no result, and Frank was in the bathroom, discovered that April was contemplating having an abortion. He brought those things out and asked April, but what April said made Frank's heart freeze. The only reason you moved was because I got pregnant. Then we had another child to prove the first one wasn't a mistake, I mean, do you actually want another child? In April's eyes, their daughter was always a fault, which Frank had not thought of. But now April just lived in her dream of Paris. Frank completely rejected the plan to move to Paris. At the weekend, Millie's family invited them to John's bar. April kept silence, and even rejected Frank's invitation to dance together. When they were going to leave, Millie's car was locked inside. In the end, Frank had to take Millie home first to take care of children. April and Millie's husband still stayed there, and waited to unlock the car. But it turned out that April took this opportunity to go off track. With the help of Millie's husband, she successfully lied to Frank. A few days later, the baby in April's belly had been 12 weeks old. But April had not gone to the hospital yet, Frank just wanted to talk about recent problems, but April didn't want to hear anything. Frank also wanted to live quietly, but if they wanted to live peacefully, they needed to break the past problems. Frank admitted he had an affair with the secretary, but also declared that he and that woman had no emotional entanglement. It was only about the physiological relationship, and it was completely over at present. I mean, what's the point? Is it supposed to make me jealous or something? Is it supposed to make me fall in love with you or back into bed with you or... April basically didn't care about what was going with her husband, and also didn't care what he had done. She didn't love Frank anymore. Frank got angry when April said that. When they were about to break out again, Howard's family came. Everyone maintained the apparent peace. Howard's family congratulated on April's pregnancy, and they also expressed the regret that they couldn't go to Paris. Only John was seriously not happy with April's pregnancy. It is not the reason why Frank can't go to Paris. Don't European people have children? The real reason was Frank didn't want to leave his comfort zone. I wouldn't be surprised if he locked her up on purpose, that way he'd never have to find out what he's really made of. Frank yelled at John for what he said. Frank couldn't control his temper and scolded John as a lunatic. He kicked out Howard's family. Before they left, John gave April another fatal blow. Maybe you deserve each other. I mean, you must give him a pretty bad time if making babies is the only way he can prove he's got a pair of balls. John's words made April's handshake. They all knew what John said was the truth. After Howard's family left, Frank and April had an altercation. They spoke without considering others' emotions. And now I loathe the sight of you. In fact, if you come any closer, if you touch me or anything, I think I'll scream. Come on, stop this. <laughs> the fight between them had never been more intense. Frank didn't understand if April really hated him so much, why did she get married to him, and why still stayed here. But the next day as always, the scene was like nothing happened. Daughter was sent to Millie's house. The couple was as respectful as guests at the table after yesterday's chaos. Frank thought that April had figured it out but just after Frank happily left for work, April took the abortion tool out and went upstairs. The problem was the baby had been already formed. Afterward, she was bleeding. Finally, she had to call an ambulance. Frank was restless outside the ward of the hospital. Then the worst news came. After a period of time, Mrs. Howard told the newly moved couple that they looked so happy. It was like the same as the first time she saw Frank's couple. Mr. Howard sitting on the chair looked at his wife who had been with him for decades, and silently turned odd his hearing aid. Maybe this was the true emperor of a beautiful marriage.